Hello everyone, it is that time of year again. The uh, Ferrari is here for its service. I'm here at Joe Macari, and whilst I'm here, I'm gonna have a little wander around and see what cool stuff, because they always have cool things in the showroom, and normally even cooler stuff in the workshop. Don't know whether I'll be allowed to film in there, I'll ask and see, but I'm gonna have a little look around. We are inside Joe Macari. I am filming on my iPhone because for some reason my brain isn't working properly and I just hit format on my card, on the camera. So I'm just not touching it and I'm gonna hopefully try and get all the stuff back before. But anyway, behind me, you can see F40 Blue. Still looking pretty sick. And it's in to have a little look. But I'm gonna come over here and show you there's another F40 in that's having a bunch of work done and I'm gonna have a little look round and you can sort of see some of the things that are going on. Now I first thought when I got my car back that they'd done some of the pipes to match my car but actually they are the same on every single F40. This car is in to have a bunch of work including a bit of suspension change which if I was to change something on my car but suspension and brakes would probably be the I want to do, but I think it's pretty authentic as it is. Oh, little charger. Notice how flat it is on the underneath for the aero. Now there's panels that go back on here and at the back as well. So this one has had everything come off. And the first thing I'd point out is that this like case here, sort of semi-soft case, is for the fuel bags, which have to be changed every 10 years. And over here we have an old one that's just come out. And they are these like soft things. There's two of them, 80 liters in total. And then inside, okay, you can't see anything now. But if I show you on my one, you can see. If you look in here, they have this like foamy stuff. And the foam is there to stop the fuel moving around when you're going around a corner and affecting the balance and stuff. I did not know that. I had actually never noticed that until today. We've had a little, this pipe here, for some reason it's too short, so I think, I don't know how. So basically we just, this needs a little longer one and then it'll pipe back on. In here, the, I think you can just about see here, this little bracket on the exhaust has, oh no, not that one, sorry. This one down there on the right. It's, you can see the weld is cracked, so we're gonna get that re Rewelded. I always thought the keys are pretty funny on these. But that is probably the same key as 355, 308, absolutely anything. <laughs> Lol. Other things, things that need doing. I'm uh, probably going to regas the air conditioning. Uh, they've they've done a preliminary check around the car, and the things we're doing. Or just the start our aircon oil change and that's pretty much it I have just finished up at Joe Macari it's I'm gonna come back in maybe a week uh, they're quite busy and it's got a few bunch of things to be done and I will update you when I know more right we are back the car is all done now well as you can see it's not quite finished just needs an MOT but having a look round you can see we had to change the cam belts and they are accessed. Well, not too bad on this car. Normally you have to sort of take the engine out, but here, this panel here comes off and you can just sort of see them in the back there. And then it's a quick swap or relatively easy. The exhaust has been all welded up. All sorted. And that's it. Looks phenomenal. <laughs> 